The Message From Poems by Nora May French Read for LibriVox.org by Eric Metzler Albuquerque, USA So might it brush my cheek with errant wings, So might it speak with thrilling touch And light of answering eyes, Of dim, unuttered things, A moth from hidden gardens of the night, so, in a land of hills where twilight lay, Might come a sudden bird-call to the ear, Across the canyons, faint and far away. O oh, heart, how sweet, half heard, and wholly dear. Footnote. These lines were in response to a long telegram dispatched at night by a distant friend. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. By the Hospital From Poems by Nora May French Read for LibriVox.org by Eric Metzler Albuquerque, USA Who goes to meet the windy night With unseen comrades shouting by? Who grips a bow in swift delight To let it dip and loose and fly? Who runs for rest that running gives, Runs till his throbbing muscles speak, Who bends to feel how keenly lives The joyous grass beneath his cheek. With sudden tears his eyes shall fill, With quick-drawn breath he sees them plain, Those bodies that must lie so still, So tired in the house of pain. End of poem this recording is in the public domain. O oh, Dryad Thoughts From Poems by Nora May French Read for LibriVox.org by Eric Metzler Albuquerque, USA O oh, Dryad Thoughts of lovely yesterday, You melted through a sunny wood like mist, With here a wind of laughter, there a stray pleased flower tipped and kissed. Today, among the noises of the street, the press of faces, sullen, gay, and wise, I hear you calling, calling me. I meet your clear, untroubled eyes. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.